Today we delve into why billionaire Ken Griffin is aggressively buying specific dividend stocks. Often hailed as the greatest living hedge fund manager, Ken Griffin has built an impressive legacy. He founded Citadel in 1990, one of the largest and most successful hedge funds globally. With a net worth nearing $38 billion, Griffin ranks as the 42nd wealthiest person in the world. Despite not needing income from his stock investments, Griffin has been vigorously purchasing these three dividend stocks in the first quarter of 2024. At the end of 2023, Hess was not among Citadel's largest holdings. However, it has now become the hedge fund's third largest position after Griffin increased his stake in Hess by nearly 18 times. Hess does not boast the most impressive dividend among its peers, with a forward dividend yield of under 1.2%. Nevertheless, the company has commendably increased its dividend payout by over 75% since 2022. Griffin diverged from Wall Street's consensus by buying additional shares of Hess. Among 21 analysts surveyed by London Stock Exchange Group in May, 11 recommend holding the stock, with one rating it as an underperform. However, Griffin might be betting on Chevron's pending acquisition of Hess proceeding smoothly. If the deal closes, Hess shareholders will receive a 13% premium on the current share price. Citadel holds several financial stocks, but none ranks higher in its portfolio than Bank of America. Griffin purchased more than 22.4 million shares of Bank of America in the first quarter, marking a 389% increase from the previous quarter. Bank of America has one of the most attractive dividend programs in the banking industry. The company has consistently increased its dividend, except for a brief pause during the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020. Over the past five years, Bank of America has grown its dividend by an impressive 60%. The stock has recovered from the banking crisis of 2023, yet it remains nearly 20% below its all-time high set in early 2022. Despite this solid rebound, Bank of America appears to be attractively valued, trading at a forward price-to-earnings ratio of 12.2 compared to the S&P 500 financial sector's average forward earnings multiple of 15.6. Griffin is also a fan of big pharmaceutical stocks, with several in Citadel's top 50 holdings. Merck is arguably his favorite in this group, now Citadel's eighth largest position, after increasing its stake by nearly 20% in the first quarter. Merck has a strong track record of dividend hikes, increasing its payout annually since 2011, and by 40% over the last five years. The pharmaceutical giant's forward dividend yield stands at nearly 2.4%. The stock has surged approximately 20% in 2024, fueled by new US and European approvals for its blockbuster drug Keytruda, and positive results from a late-stage study of the pneumococcal conjugate vaccine V116. Merck also completed its acquisition of Harpoon Therapeutics in March. Investors should not buy stocks solely because a successful hedge fund manager did. Individual goals and risk tolerance likely differ from Griffin's or other billionaire investors. However, two of the dividend stocks Griffin acquired in the first quarter are promising picks for some investors now. Firstly, Merck faces a significant challenge with a major patent cliff looming in the next few years. The primary concern is Keytruda, whose U.S. patent expires in 2028. The cancer therapy accounted for 44% of Merck's total revenue in the first quarter. Hess could be a straightforward win if Chevron's acquisition goes through, though this deal could be thwarted by regulators. Even if the acquisition falls through, Hess could still provide solid long-term returns if predictions of an impending oil supply shortage prove accurate. It. Potential interest rate cuts later this year might pose some challenges for Bank of America, but these are unlikely to be overly problematic. In my opinion, Bank of America is one of the best managed banks. The company is a technological innovator, and I am optimistic about its long-term prospects and its dividend. In conclusion, Ken Griffin's recent acquisitions of Hess, Bank of America, and Merck highlight his strategic approach to dividend stocks. While investors should consider their own goals and risk tolerance, these stocks present compelling opportunities for those seeking reliable dividend income and potential growth. With that being said, I wish you the best of luck, happy investing, and I will see you over in the next video.